Hey everybody, it's Nate. So let's face it, you're cool. And so why shouldn't your classroom be cool just like you? There's no reason. So I thought I'd give you a little idea, free to use it if you want, today, um, for spicing up your Google Classroom. So to start off, I'm going to go here, classroom.google.com. You know how to get here, right? And you have your little tiles that show your class. You, you know that when you select one, you have these select themes, but I wonder if you want to go next level. I mean, th these are kind of cool. You want a purple snowflake? They've got it. They want other, you want other stuff? They've got it. But I wonder if you want to go next level. I'm going to show you how to make yours really custom, uh, and it's not too hard. You're just going to need a couple things. First thing we need is this template, and if you'd like it, just email me, and I will send you a copy. This is basically just a square that's the a rectangle, sorry, the exact size of a Google Classroom header. Also, we're going to want to install the Bitmoji Chrome extension. So to do that really quickly, just go to the Chrome Web Store, and you're going to type in Bitmoji, OK? And we're just going to get version 1. Um, this allows you when, you, when you make a little account, it allows you to make a little avatar that looks like you. I mean, you change everything he wears or she wears, um, their, their hair, their eyes, their face. I mean, you, you can change everything, so you make it super custom. And what's cool is then you can put these in emails, on documents. You know, you could even use them as, like, feedback for kids whatever, but I'm just going to show you really quickly. Here are all the categories. So if I wanted these, I mean, look, there's tons. Now, some of them you wouldn't want to use with students. Some, I mean, you might, but you can't. But you know what I'm saying. So there's tons of them. And like I said, these are all customized to look kind of like your face and your. you can make it wear whatever you want. There's a little cost. It's unlimited. Get in there. Make an account, even if you don't do the Google Classroom, you should make an account. It makes the world a better place. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how you can get these Bitmojis up here so you have a cool background, way more cool than a purple snowflake. Those don't even exist in nature. So start with the color you want. So I'm just right-clicking on this template, and I go to background. Um, let's make a gold one. That's kind of cool. I mean... It is kind of cool. And now, since I have the Chrome extension installed, you can see this little Bitmoji icon up here. I'm just going to click it, and then I can select any Bitmoji I want. So um, I think I'll do a funny one. I'm looking at a funny category. Um, that one's kind of cool. So I'm going to right right-click on it and copy image and paste and boom now you can see this image i can make it small i can make it big but with the template you kind of know how big you want obviously um, there's going to be text in the middle here which is your title of your course and stuff like that so you want to leave the middle kind of open let's do another one let's just do like um yellow yellow why not so I'm right clicking copying and pasting so this is so now this is going to be my my header the last thing I need to do is go file download it as a JPEG so I download that as a JPEG and boom you can see it just showed up right here for me so when I come back to my class I've got to open twice. Um, now I'm going to, where instead of select theme, I'm going to upload a photo. And since I just did it here, I, I could do the select from the computer, but it's super easy just to say, show this in a folder. And I'm just going to drag this in and bingo. Now you could see it would cut it off a little bit. So I'm going to extend these all the way. select class theme and boom that's a lot cooler and it looks like me with a little more hair but you could do whatever you want 
it's a super cool way to spice up your, um, you know, your Google Classrooms, make it a little more personal. And uh, most importantly, it's a good way just to have fun. So I hope this was useful for you. If you have any questions or would like a copy of the template, uh, so you have this uh, rectangle, the correct size, just let me know and I'd be happy to share it with you.